So in a recent video, we did active cell balancers and how they work, but a lot of my viewers were skeptical if this could actually push 1.2 amps from one cell to another. Some were also saying that it's not a true active cell balancer. So today we're going to test it and actually find out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a resistor pack across the third cell and we're going to watch the voltage on here. And if it's a true active balancer, that means that the highest voltage cell will decrease and the lowest voltage cell should increase in theory. We're also going to test how many amps goes through this wire at the third cell. So we're going to actually be able to see in real time how much current is passing through it and we should get 1.2 amps. And if it doesn't, then it does not work as advertised and we all learn a whole lot. And putting these cells out of balance is working. We have 3.28, 3.28. 3.25 on the third cell and then 3.28 so so far it's working really well and we can watch the voltage of the other cells as well so this will be really interesting when this thing starts kicking on we'll see where it's getting the power from we'll see the voltage drop on the other ones while they feed this third cell if this is a true active balancer and check out these freaking sweet glasses bro man look at how cool am i and these are the cell voltages right now. And you can see that the third cell is 3.232. So it's dropped quite a lot. I'm a little tired, man. <laughs> I sit here for hours every day doing these tests, all right? So right now we still have the resistor pack connected and it's the next day, but I noticed that these numbers shifted on the balance of these cells. So before we had 3.28 all the way down and then the one we were taking power out of was down to 3.23. I took more power out of it and now it's at 3. 0.203 but the other ones decrease in voltage but I'm still drawing power from this third cell and this hasn't kicked on yet but it is balancing a little bit so it will be very interesting to see how fast it can balance when the light turns on and it actually starts going into balance mode so I have some bad news I've had this amp meter on every single wire and I'm not getting anything more than 0.2 amps. Also, I've been watching these and the numbers are changing. Now the second cell has been decreasing a lot. I think this is a passive resistive load on this cell. Um, it keeps drawing more and more power from it. It's not connected to anything else. So what I'm gonna do next is put the amp meter on these wires and then put this into balance mode. I haven't used balance mode at all for this test and I use this mainly as a cell monitor, but maybe this actually does have true active balancing and we'll figure out what rate it actually balances at. So that's a pretty big bummer for this. This one does work though. Um, in my first testing and in these tests, it does balance it over time. But yeah, I'm surprised that none of these wires showed over you know 0.2 amps that's kind of concerning and now we have the amp meter on the second cell because it's been drawing this one down a lot and currently you can see those numbers dropping and guess what we still have 0.2 amps why is that 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 should be higher so now i have another meter on there and we're getting 0.72 milliamp and so for amps that's like 0.08 God, that is really not good. Also, the accuracy of this is down to 0.2. So it's just going to spit out this number if it's under 0.2 amps anyways. So this is a more accurate reading. But that's really low. That's not. That's really not what I was expecting. I was expecting 1.2 amps. So yeah, these little balancer boards, they work, but not nearly as well as advertised. If you guys have anything to say about this, please let me know. Some of the commenters were actually mentioning this, and I think you guys might be correct. So the next test is hooking up this meter and seeing how fast this can balance. All right, here we go. Let's put it on balance mode. We got 0 0.04, 0 0.04. That's not that great. That is so slow. So my first test actually showed that this one works faster. So my first tests are correct and this still does work, but it's not pulling 1.2 amps, you guys, like not even. God, look at that, isn't that funny? That's crazy. So now the next test is seeing how fast these little balancers can actually put this back in balance because I've had this resistor pack on this third cell on and off for like a day now. So it has, these things have a lot of work to do. 
Um, one of my viewers actually said that he connected this to a lithium titanate battery and because of lower nominal voltage, this wasn't pushing nearly as much. He said that the manufacturer states that you need something that's around four volts per cell to get that 1.2 amp of balancing power from these. Which makes me think that we're just using resistors here, so that's not good. We're also gonna check the voltage of this cell and see if it rises because so far it hasn't in my testing, so I don't think this is passing power from the highest to the lowest cell. It's just giving off as heat. Now I'm testing my meters. I have a watt meter shunt right here, Hall effect sensor and this one, and they're all giving me the right answers, so none of my equipment is off. So because this likes a higher voltage to do its job, we're gonna actually charge this up and then put the amp meter on these wires and see if we can increase the rate that this can balance at. Guess what guys, we burnt out this tiny little transistor and I'm pretty bummed. So I connected it just for a second without this line on because I was putting the amp meter on over here and yeah, I just went up in smoke, which is weird. None of the other ones I have do that. Um, so you make sure that you connect all the wires before you connect this one. So now that I can't test this one, we're gonna put this one at a high state of charge and see if the current increases. I just started thinking about it and going from 3.3 to 3.6 isn't gonna make that big of a difference in the balance rate. So yeah, I think we're stuck with this rate that we measured. All right guys, get this. The lowest voltage cell was at 3.199. Now it's at 3.197. This is supposed to have active balancing. Everybody in the reviews was saying that, and it does not. It does not. These are all passive. It's so funny. I thought these were special. These are not special. They use resistors and they still bleed off power from the highest voltage cell. There is nothing special about this. I'm going to keep watching it for another, you know, a few hours and see if anything changes. It's been one hour. So I gave it a really good chance, but still not good results here. It's been seven and a half hours and nothing has changed. Cell number three is dropping. So this does not do true active balancing. It's a lie. So all the people that say on the Amazon reviews that it works that way, they're wrong. And I was wrong too. This is a big bummer.